You've got a skeleton in your closet and you've just brought a lawsuit here in the state of New York. Can that skeleton come out of the closet? Would you like to know the answer? Come join me as I share with you this interesting answer. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. You know, you may have done something in your past that you don't want to be revealed, either to your attorney or to the defense lawyers if you bring a lawsuit for medical malpractice, for wrongful death, or even an accident case. And you're worried and you're scared that something's going to come out that's going to come back to bite you. The reality is you need to tell your attorney about it immediately on the very first visit. Why? Because your attorney is there to protect you, to guide you, to help you through this legal process. Let's say you were arrested and convicted 20 years ago for a crime. And you paid the price. You went to jail and now you did your time. And now, as a result of some improper medical care and treatment, you've now decided to bring a lawsuit against the doctor who was treating you. You suffered significant injury. But you're worried about the conviction that you had in the past and the time that you served in jail is going to come in and affect you. And you don't want anybody to know about this. In all likelihood, it's not as big a problem as you think it is. Now, what we do in jury selection is that we show to the jury that one of the events that happened 20 years ago has absolutely nothing to do with the events today and has nothing to do with the claims that you're making. When you are called to give a question and answer session known as a deposition, to give pretrial testimony, the defense lawyers will want to know about any skeletons in your closet. And one of the key things they're going to ask you is, have you ever been convicted of a crime? And if you lie about that, I guarantee you that they will find out about that information. And now at the time of trial, they will come back to you and they will that information, that testimony that you gave falsely, will come back and bite you in the butt. So why do I share this information with you? I share it with you because many people are afraid to confide in their attorneys. They're afraid to release information. And I have to tell you, if you don't tell your attorney, what's going to happen is he's going to get blindsided, either during pretrial testimony or at trial, because the defense attorney will certainly learn that information when they do their own investigation about you and what occurred in your history. So chances are you have questions or concerns about your own particular legal matter. And if your matter happened here in the state of New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. I do this every single day. And I welcome your call. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at lawmed10 at yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Oginski here in New York. Thanks so much for watching.